Hello and welcome, my name's Lee and welcome to the Gaming Corner. And in this episode we'll be doing a bit of work in the enchantment room, as well as a little bit of work down below in the strip mining area. So we've got a place to store blocks that I don't really need on my persons, but I know where to find them when I get there. So I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, push that bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's get into this episode. So before I get into building anything I actually need, and before we get too far into this video, I'd just like to point out at a certain point in the video, the texture pack will change to pure BD craft after the update that was in initiated by Mojang, which now allows me to have my favourite texture pack on. So you will find a point where texture pack will change. So apart from that, before we actually get building as well into all of the lights of this video today I am going to just do a little bit of strip mining here and all I've done is focused on any diamonds that I find I'll record what I've done here there won't be as long as this section here just using it to explain excuse me sorry there but I thought this record every diamond I actually find whilst I was strip mining I do find quite a few diamonds so this is the first slot of diamonds I've actually stumbled stumbled up stumbled across in my strip mining session here not a bad amount of diamonds at all if I say so myself not far from where I am here's the other lot it's only about four here but not bad so far and again here we have some more lovely diamonds even one sticking sticky hiding down below the other diamonds here so not bad for much for the amount of diamonds I've actually stumbled across here and then obviously here we found another lot lot here so always look behind um gravel sometimes and you find some treats so on this ex on that expedition on diamond hunting in the strip mining I found quite a few bits of diamond on me so which is a good thing obviously some of the stuff I didn't much find whilst going around but they weren't really they didn't feel be interesting enough to watch to be fair so that's the expedition room that's all done with now here is where I'm going to put the enchantment room area so you have the enchantment room plus the the enchantment thing block <coughs> and repair tool thing the jiggy wiggy Obviously I was going to build there, but I've decided I'm going to go one back further, because obviously I don't want two walls to look the same in each, in each room. So I'm going to sit here, clear out a space that I want, and once that's done, I'll be right back. Now all of that has actually been cleared out to a certain point. I've obviously I left one block back, because obviously I don't want the one wall to look exactly the same as the other. I want room to, all rooms to be having a bit of individuality. Obviously, that's where my that was going to be where my enchantment table was going to be in the bookcases, but I've actually changed it. You'll find out as I go further into the episode. But here is just basically where I want the um, enchantment room to be, and obviously, anything to do with the enchantment room. That's the plan at all totally so this is the other that I've been working on as well this way won't be quite finished but I've made a start I've just used the blocks to have some chests going along so obviously when I go strip mining I could put the blocks I don't really need on me into those chests <coughs> apart from obviously the um, resources that I gather just like cobblestone dirt gravel all of that so it's all in one place obviously still keeping a, a nice feng shui I'll go around here so I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do it so it looks um, symmetrical in my eyes that's the plan so obviously I've put the birchwood half slabs in place all the way on the bottom here, obviously I've left two blocks there because that's where the stairs are going to be I don't really want them um, 
don't really need them to be um, covered waste of blocks in other words if I did that so yeah that's what I've done so I've put the chests in place of where I want them to be I've also allowed it so I can expand it at a certain point just in case I need some more chests put down eventually obviously we especially collect um, cobblestone which if I don't smelt down obviously we're sitting in a in a, in a chest so I lost words then so that's basically this section done for this for the time being so back to the, my original plan so here as you can see I've moved the torches along a bit for where I'm going to put my enchantment table and the bookcases just to add a little bit more feng shui I know it's a little bit off centre but I can't really get a um, decent enough space between each other without digging out more walls and to be honest it's not that big I would also want some space for other things in here as well so <coughs> at least it gives me a bit more room in that department and here I've actually put down half slabs of birchwood in that area leaving the bits where obviously so it's going to be covering it so I don't really need to have birchwood down It'd be a waste of materials in all so again I've not covered them up to be fair it'd be a bit pointless to be fair as well so apart from that it looks all kosher and everything in place as I want it at least it gives a diagram of where I want things to go as well that's one thing so here I've gone with these stairs uh, stone heart stone heart stone stairs in place I do apologize if I've got a lisp I kind of like noticed that myself whilst making this video so I do apologize on that one but as you see I've put some stairs around just to give it a bit more feng shui plus change them bits so indicate that yes the end is where the doorway is a little bit different to be fair but all looking as it should be so far not too shabby as you can see our texture pack has changed I could have said it would in the beginning of the video but also what I've done here is I've put some oak wood stripped in place in the corners and obviously chiseled stone along the side of it just to give it that bit more um, depth of how it wants to be I've also moved this over one block just so it's supposed to go behind it so it looks a bit more feng shui as I like to call it but nothing else has been changed here obviously side I'm looking at there basically to make it look a bit more so I know what it is for me so when I make a video I can see it so that's that bit area sorted out now I've actually added these corner bits here on the corner at the top and bottom of it so it's moving two stairs at the bottom just to fit in with what the idea I've come up with going all the way around to be fair so looking a bit more as it should be and as I'd like to see it as you can see there I've put that um, the enchanter and repairer in place as obviously you can get some loot and loot you don't want you can dechart it so you can get experience points from it so hence the reason why I've got that in place in the enchantment room area so here I've actually put in the walls now how I like them subject to change maybe depending on situation obviously put the torches here to stop mobs from spawning in that area there but I'm actually quite liking how it's all turned out to be fair and then again I actually do like what I've done there to be fair it sort of breaks it up a little bit it doesn't make it f a flat wall it gives it some dimensions to be fair which is quite good I think to be fair all got to do now is work on the roofing area I was thinking about something like that but I thought keep that for the corridors if I put any in I want this room to be unique in its own way 
because I'll probably be building off of this room. I assume we won't be building off, if I need to build off anything of it, it'll be in these kind of areas here. So, time for the roof, I think, to be fair. And let's get straight onto it. So, this is what I've actually come up with. I'm quite um, surprised how this has worked out. I've come up with the stairs going off the pillars there. And then, looking at it now, I could probably do a little bit more. Because the scene does look a bit dark, to be fair. This area here around here might change depending on when blocks I find get access to more blocks that probably change but I'll probably leave the white blocks there as, as it does sort of cause to stand out but as you can see here I'm working out here now so I have actually come up with an idea and I've got enough blocks to do it well I will be going to get some more blocks to go and do it obviously it's good to check make sure chests I've got some already and then go from there. So I've got the blocks I actually want to do. Now I'll just take these oak wood pl planks out as it's not exactly wanted anymore there. It does make the ceiling a bit too dark. The good thing is no mobs can spawn up there, which is a good thing. It doesn't make it light light, but breaks out from the darkness I reckon been too dark to having a little bit of colour mixed in with it I always thought um, stone brick and wood oak wood blends in quite um, nicely as you can see it's going in line with the stairs upside down in place there so that's a good thing so yeah it does sort of break out a little bit I reckon <coughs> excuse me on all of that so now that's all in place that's part one of the enchantment we've got to get the enchantment stuff I hope you've enjoyed I say next episode will be going a little adventure so don't worry I'm not going to be sitting there building every episode so I do hope you've enjoyed let me know in the comments down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you never miss any upcoming videos and I'll catch you in the next installment on Bedrock Survival